So we continue with uh, this time tutorial 11. We are actually making so much progress. I'd like to say kudos to you if you have come all this come this far. Later I may get a little bit challenging, but not not really tough. So we are going to now create a controller. A, a controller sits on top of the service layer. So a controller is like the, the middleman interface between the, the service and the view or the HTML uh, pages. So to do that, we simply create a class called student controller. So new class, and the name is going to be student controller. And I'm going to put it in the interface in the package. So um, in the package, so the package is going to be controllers. Okay, All right. So. So from the steps, we, we are going to annotate this class with at controller annotation, not rest controller annotation, controller annotation. So at controller. The reason is because we are not building an API, we are building an application. So assuming we are building an API, we are going to have been talking about rest controller. So this controller, in case you forgot what it means, a controller is a class that contains endpoints or methods that are going to be executed when a user makes a request in the browser, that request is going to hit the controller. So if that is where we're actually going to do the work. So this controller is going to tell the system what to do, what data to return to the user in the browser when a user makes a request. So this, where, where the request from the user comes from the browser is a controller and particular parts of the controller or functions in the controller are called endpoints. So that is what the controller is all about. We'll get more about it as we move along. So we are notated with a request mapping of slash student. So, so a request mapping actually uh, request mapping tells Spring that to get to this controller, the base URL will be slash student. So if you go to localhost slash uh, port 8080 slash student, it's going to hit on this controller. But if it comes to this controller, it can't do anything for now because we've not told it, told it what to do. We, it only knows that request coming from the browser is going to come here. But what next to do is not specified. And that is what we are going to be talking about in, meanwhile, let's remove this error, control shift O on the keyboard. And then uh, we forgot something, or to wire the uh, student service into the controller. So that is something we need to do. So we say private student service, student service. So again, this is the same, similar to what we did, uh, similar to what we did between the repository and the service. This time it's service and controller. So we auto wire it in there auto wired okay so yeah so we completed the controller creating the skeleton of the controller the next thing we want to do now is to write the get all method let's now do some interesting stuff maybe to return list of students in the database so i'd like to thank you for viewing also you are doing great if you've not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel if you have challenges leave me a comment to let me know and i'm going to get back to you